what would I say about this machine? What, do I like it? Don't I like it? G'day! Welcome back. Today I'm going to review one of these things. This is called an Instant Vap and, and it's uh, made in Hungary. It's designed to vaporize oxalic acid into hives for control of varamite. This is not a paid ad, it's not a paid review, in fact I've not spoken to the company that makes this product at all. The only reason I have it here, I don't own it, is that a friend of mine bought it, he's a beekeeper, he uses, like me, oxalic acid strips to control Varroa mite. We were having a long chat about the fact that from time to time if mite levels get too high in a hive, the extended release oxalic acid strips are not very effective at bringing the levels down again. Up until now I've just been using other forms of treatment, chemical treatments, uh, to deal with that situation and then I go back to the extended release strips. What is an option is vaporization. The use of vap vaporization in conjunction with extended release strips appears on the surface quite a good option and it's something that we're going to explore further. The strategy will be that if mite levels get high in some hives, we can come along with a vaporizer and knock them back down again and then rely on the strips to hold them, to hold the mite levels low. There are lots of options out there in the marketplace for vaporizers. The reason that I'm reviewing this one is it's the one that my friend bought and he bought it because he wasn't interested in many, many of the other options that are available. Vaporizers come in 12 volt versions uh, and mains electricity versions. I was going to say 240 volts, but of course in most many countries they'll be 110 volts. The big drawback with those vaporizers is that you have to get the power to your apron. You can do that if you're running 12 volt, you can run off a 12 volt battery. If you're running uh, mains voltage, then you've got to have a generator or an inverter with you. And it, invo it involves uh, a lot of equipment, a lot of mucking around, cables, it's slow and it's cumbersome. In comparison, on paper, this thing appeared to be just the bee's knees because it runs on an 18 volt battery. You can it comes with uh, all different brands. This is a these are Dewalt batteries. If you want to know more about this product than what I tell you in this video, then I'll put a link in the description down below to the company that manufactures them. Like I said, they are a Hungary company and I have no links to them whatsoever. So this, uh, as I said, is the 18 volt model. It does come as a 12 volt model and a mains electricity model. It's equipped, this 18 volt version is equipped with a quick attachment from the bottom. So putting the battery in is very easy. It has a dial on the back and it takes about three or four minutes. If I turn it on, you'll see the counter start to click up quite quickly. Two or three minutes to heat up. Probably the biggest and best feature of this is in comparison to some of the other ones that I've looked at is that it holds its temperature really well. When you put the oxalic acid in to vaporize it, the temperature actually, I'm going to flick that off again, the temperature actually only drops by about uh, 20 degrees. What's also good about this, because this, this is a lithium iron battery and it would be very easy out in the field to just keep running it and running it and running it and run that battery right down till it's dead flat. That's very, very bad for the battery. So on the top of this machine, there is Hopefully you can see that with the reflection of the light. Just in here, there's a, a display showing how many volts are left in the battery. And the instructions come with clear advice about how low to allow the, bat the voltage in your battery to, uh, to drop. So, this is, like I said, this is an 18 volt battery. When it's fully charged, it's actually uh, probably at about 18.7 volts. 
and the instructions say don't run it and below 14.7 volts. It comes with two dispensers. These are a bit discoloured because they've been used. The whole thing's stainless steel, which is great. And this is a little plunger dispenser. All you do is uh, plunge it down into your container of oxalic acid and then once the machine's heated up, you put that in the top, you insert your spout into, your, into the front of your hive. Uh, some people recommend actually drilling a hole about that diameter in the front of the hive and then when you're not using it to vaporise the hive, plugging it with a, a small round dowel like a golf tee or something like that. Now it comes with two of these dispensers. The idea being that you fill one with oxalic acid, put it in the machine, put it into the hive, press the fl plunger and it starts vaporising and while that's happening you fill the next one and then they're uh, ready to go, it's ready to go once this, this is done. The rest of the application of the vaporizer fumes is no different to using any other vaporizer. The uh, key of course is that, you, that those fumes are extremely toxic to people and they're not good to get in your lungs. So wearing a full chemical level respirator is essential. What would I say about this machine? Do I like it? Don't I like it? I do like it, I really do like it. The, the, the pros are it's stainless steel, um, the dispensing system, actually I didn't mention that uh, there's a little dial on the side there and you can screw this end in and out and change the dose rate uh, and it's marked at one, two, three and four grams. Uh, the handle feels a bit flimsy but I think that's deliberate. One of the things that they warn against in the instructions is to not lean on the machine while it's being propped up by the spout. When, the, when it's in the hive and its, and its weight is being taken by that spout, it's designed to take that weight but it's not designed to take your weight. And I think the flex in the handle is kind of a subliminal warning to the user not to be pushing down on it. So it works well, very effective. I might add that this is the second battery powered vaporizer that my friend has purchased. The first one was much, much cheaper and failed on the first try. The, the suppliers of it sent a, a replacement part. I fitted it for him and it failed again. Uh, it lasted a little bit longer. It lasted three or four doses and then it failed a second time. Conversely, this one has worked 100% the way it should work from day one with no issues. So those are the pluses. What's the minus? There's a major minus, and that is that this thing is quite spendy. The, uh, the link in the uh, description down below will take you to the website. When I looked at it, it was uh, the price was 350 something, let's say 360 euro. And then of course, we're in New Zealand here, so we had to get it freighted here. Uh, and then plus, I think it came with one battery, but realistically, if you've got a number of hives and you want to uh, do a lot of vaporization in a day, you would need extra batteries, and they're not cheap either. But having said that, that is completely offset, in my opinion, by the uh, huge inconvenience of having to run cables or bring generators or all the things that are associated with mains voltage machines. Another negative, quite a minor negative because probably it wouldn't be an issue if you read the instructions properly, he says, uh, as someone who didn't, don't put it away with the battery in it because even though it's turned off, you see the dial's still running, I did that the first time I played with it, came back the next day and the battery was dead flat. And as I've already said to you, running those batteries dead flat isn't good for them. 
So uh, pull the battery out before you put it away. So what's the conclusion? Well, I, sp I suppose with any review, you have to answer the question, would you buy it? And I've got a complicated answer to that question. I'm not going to buy one because I've actually got the offer of using this one when I need one. Uh, but yes, I would. Yes, I would definitely buy one of these out of 10 in the range of vaporizers that are out there for the specific purpose. I'd have to give this a nine or a nine and a half out of 10. It looks like a fantastic product. It does what it's supposed to do. And then one last point, Cayman Reynolds uses one, so it must be good. Thanks for watching.